Hey everybody again, this is Brandon, and I'm here with another Chrome OS Flex video. Why? Well, let me tell you, I've never used Chrome OS before until like two days ago, and <clears throat> I'm really starting to love it, actually. I wish I wouldn't have waited so long to try it out. Now, in 2011, I bought a new MacBook Air, which was a good computer back then, but it stopped getting updates from Apple a long time ago and it's become super slow, super sluggish. So after I had success with Chrome OS Flex on my Asus laptop, I thought I'd try it out and see how it worked on this MacBook Air. And I'm recording this video using that MacBook Air right now. And so let me just tell you the experience. First of all, setting it up was pretty easy. Um, there's instructions when you go to download Chrome OS Flex. But I was able to boot it up off the USB, no problem, run it, everything was fine. But when I tried to install, I had installation failed, and then I couldn't even boot my MacBook up in a Mac anymore. Like, it totally bork, forked my whole computer. I was like, oh no, I ruined this laptop just trying to put Chrome OS Flex on it. Um, so I kept playing around with it. I could still boot it off the USB, but I could never install it. And uh, I couldn't find any resources online. And so what I ended up having to do is I had an um, external DVD drive. And I actually installed, or I didn't install, but I booted from a DVD, Fedora Linux, on this MacBook. And once I was in the live boot of Fedora, I installed the internal hard I uh, formatted the internal hard drive on this thing to uh, EXT4. Then I booted up again from the Chrome OS USB. And then it let me install. So I had to go through all that. Um, maybe it's because it's such an old MacBook. For you, if you try this on a newer MacBook, you might not have that problem. But this is a 2011 MacBook Air. And that's everything I had to do to get this working. But now that it's installed and working, this is actually uh, pretty great. With Mac OS, it was an older version of Mac OS because it stopped getting updates. It was so slow, so laggy. And um, I don't have those problems at all on this uh, Chrome OS Flex here. It's actually, it's like having a new computer again, which is great. Um, unfortunately, this whole MacBook has a crack in the screen. If it didn't, this would be an awesome laptop. But it's so ugly to look at that crack. But um, all the programs I have on here work fine. Uh, and yeah, it's just snappy and fast, just like any other computer. So I'm really impressed. I'd say if you have an old MacBook Air that's not getting Apple updates anymore, I would suggest trying to install this Chrome OS Flex on it. I'm really starting to like Chrome OS Flex myself. The one downside on this old MacBook is I was unable to install the Linux um, onto it. And I think it's because this old CPU doesn't support virtualization. And so that's something to be aware of. On this 2011 MacBook Air, at least, I cannot put Linux on it, so I'm not going to be able to use any of the Linux apps. So this thing is pretty much limited to web apps. But you know, that's fine with me for what this thing is. I'll uh, probably give this one to my son and let him play with it, so that's fine for him. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that if you have a MacBook, this Chrome OS Flex works good on that, too. All the keys work on the keyboard. Everything seems fine. It's able to play all the kind of videos I'd want it to play. Streaming online works good. And this is just all around a good laptop now. Like I said, I'm really starting to fall in love with Chrome OS Flex here. And probably Chrome OS in general. This is the only version of it I've tried. But, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to share that with you. If you have a MacBook, you can get Chrome OS on your MacBook, too. And it kind of puts a fresh coat of paint on it. Um, I got a request in the comments to do a video about how to install Linux on Chrome OS Flex and install applications through Linux, so I'm going to make that video next. But I just wanted to give an update on this MacBook Air, and um, if you have any questions about using Chrome OS Flex on a MacBook, feel free to ask, and I'll do what I can to answer. And other than that, thanks for watching, and, you know, have a good day.